and I am better than a knee. Hello and welcome to the Dietrich Gamecast, episode 78. I'm your host as always, Jeremy Matthews. Joining me today, Jesse Simmons. What's up guys? I'm back. And Chris McAfee. Yo. That's two guests, one episode. Now, sort of. <laughs> this is the last regular episode of the Gamecast for 2013. Uh, we'll talk about what we're doing for the rest of the year at the end. But we're going to go over the news one last time. One last news of 2013. Yep. There should be a very small violin playing in the background. This will be the last episode with that theme song, too. <laughs> it's not the Infidel so by Asher Zettler. Violin. We thank him for the use of that over yep. the past couple months. Exactly. Yeah. Vogels from our very own Jorge Gomez Jr. Couldn't be here today. Our very own. Yeah. He's our <laughs> buddy, you know. Let's get to the news. The Xbox One has sold 2 million units now. Yep. Uh, NPD reports described it as the fastest selling next gen console of November. Exactly, 18, yeah. 18 days in. PlayStation 4, however, was described as the best selling, but it did have an extra week. Yeah. So it'll, it'll take a while for us to see how that pans out. The Wii U also up 340%. Wow. They sold uh, 222,000 units in November. Shh. 340% sounds much better. What? <laughs> <laughs> Well, no, yeah, yeah. They're increasing the... from very low numbers. Yeah. But they got that new Mario game, which is apparently pretty good. Mm. Yeah. But Jesse I... said he was getting a Wii U, so. I said We're it was a on joke. That. We're waiting on that one. And it'll never happen. <laughs> now, it's been a while since we've heard about the new Rainbow Six, Rainbow Six Patriots, but apparently there's some news. Chris? Uh, yes, it is. They went back to the drawing board uh, after Ooh. quite a long absence of news from it that's true they released that trailer back in 2012 something think? like that yeah a long time ago and then uh so apparently they scrapped it uh it wasn't good enough so they decided to start all over again mm -hmm. and like nba elite 11 <laughs> i have no idea what that is but yeah <laughs> it's a classic <laughs> it's a basketball game i i know it's a basketball game yeah you say i don't know what that is i'm just trying to help buddy so yeah hopefully uh they make it hopefully it's good because uh, I like the Rainbow Six games. Yeah, good games are good. Good games Remember are good. Remember Vegas where you crashed through the window? Oh, I love... Good oh, times. Such a good game. I mean, break through the door. So it was mainly never, just about kicking things down. Yeah. That was the main draw. And there was that one level that was sponsored by MLG. So it's just posters everywhere. <laughs> Another classic. Sounds like a great game. But let's stop talking about classics. Let's start talking about Legends. Rayman Legends is coming to next-gen consoles. That was an amazing segue. Xbox One and PlayStation 4 in February. Yeah. And they put out a trailer, but they didn't just put out any old trailer. They got a legend to be their spokesman in the trailer. Snoop Doggy Dog. So that's his real thing now? That's his uh, That's his full name? No, that's what you call him. Well, Haven't you heard the song? Lion. He was Snoop Dogg, and then he was Snoop Lion. Is yeah, but in, in, in the trailer he's talking about how he's king of the rap game, so I think this is the Snoop Dogg persona. Why are you writing doggy? I mean, because that's just... a song. That's a good, I mean, I Snoop guess. Dog Dog. They sing it in the background. Anyway, so he goes on for a while about how great he is, and then he says, "Oh, Rayman, are you great?" And then he jumps into the game, and it's like a little Snoop Dogg head with the Rayman body. So maybe he's in the game. How cool I, I would that do, be? I, 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 how cool would that be? That would That'd be very be... cool. Awesome. Yeah. I wouldn't play a Snoop Dogg, but I would play a Snoop Dogg. Though there's already a Snoop Dogg Rayman. game, so it might be competition. Are you a dog that snoops? No, it's, are the, you, it's it, the year of the dog. Are you Scruff McGruff? Uh, Snoop Dogg is a kung fu master who teaches you how to fight on the streets. There we go. I got what I wanted to do in 2013 done. I've made a Scruff McGruff reference on the podcast. Gross. My life is shambles. <laughs> mm-hmm. Now, Fable Anniversary is also coming out in February 2014. Another next-gen re-release 1080p version of the original fable which came out on the x not the xbox one the original xbox the xbox jesse chris are we excited for this one not really not really i not played the original it it was okay it's sad what happened to the fable franchise three kind of bombed and then there's the one where you pull arrows out of horses the journey Oh, yeah. Two and three were pretty good. 
I liked. I, I liked, liked two a lot. Two was really good. Three was okay. A lot of a lot of people had issues with three. I played a bit of it. It didn't seem too bad. Yeah, it was. Sounds like a lot of the problems with the ending though. I don't remember the ending, so no there spoilers. you go. There's a problem. Yeah, that's a good point. The, you played through the game, right? You play, yeah, played. I played the entire through it thing. multiple times. You just don't remember the ending. Uh, yeah, but that's because I played it a while ago. I guess. Anyway, let's get to the hot newness. Steam OS is available for download in beta version. So if you want to scrap Windows and put an experimental Steam only OS on your computer, Chris, uh, we're all you looking can do that at you. right now. Okay, that sounds great. Yeah, Does you don't need your computer great? for anything. Other than to play Peggle. <laughs> no, uh, Peggle uh, doesn't work with Steam OS yet. Then what am I <laughs> supposed to play? Wait, so... <laughs> you seem very confused. Yeah, well, what do you... Is it just Steam? It's a version of Linux that oh. runs Steam games. So it's supposed to be on the little Steam consoles, right? Oh, okay. They sent a few okay. of those out beta versions to their beta testers. Yeah, I signed some up games for that. Did yeah. you get one? No. Oh, well. That would have been fun. Yeah. You weren't, physic you weren't physically fit enough to get one. That's true. There's a intense there's fitness a, regimen required. Yeah. There's a video rigorous routine. Well, you signed up, but Except then the they denied your entry. Anyone can test the Ouya. Don't worry about it. Yeah, because nobody wants to. Anyway, now you can put the Steam OS on your computer. Same experience. Oh, that's awesome. All right, in all seriousness, I would not recommend... Good teamwork, buddy. Not recommend doing this, because, you know, they haven't really done any improvements to it as an OS. You can't do too much. Yeah, no. Stick with Windows until they come out with some new innovative features, which I don't think is even their goal. They're just trying to get a console made. Yeah. Of course. But but if you have an extra PC lying around, like I have one on the floor that I'm looking at that could run CMOS. But I oh, I see it. But I promised it to Mitchell. <laughs> it's very big. You good. It's a Dell. It's a classic. Yeah. I pick it up and show people, but... Is it rolling in the deep? How can it roll? It's, it's like a Dell. rectangle. It's a Dell. Stop. Stop. <laughs> no. Oh, I, see, I, I don't see how stop. it is. Do you? <laughs> Now there's a new Assassin's Creed 4 DLC coming out next week, Freedom Cry, where you play as uh, your first mate in the game, Adewale, and he has to fight against slavery. Sounds like a righteous cause. It does sound like a righteous cause. Good save there. It's hella sick. <laughs> hella sick? That's yeah. airtight, bruh. Oh, so airtight. <laughs> hella airtight. Now, we have a toy, we Jesse. Have a toy. Our last toy. Because, you know, new season will bring new segments. This is The Maw. And we've run out! From his own game, The Maw. <laughs> this is my favorite. So I got this at PAX. You want me to hold it for you? Or no, do you want to hold it? Okay. It's going to eat you. So in The Maw, this is the this was the first game from Twisted Pixel that made the Explosion Man games. I'm showing him the back. He has the little antenna. He's got a green tongue. So you walk around... Too much Stop. Melon pineapple powder. You walk around, you have this guy on a leash, and you make him eat things and people. And then he grows bigger. Things and people? Yeah. <laughs> He'll eat whatever. Look, even still got the tag. <laughs> yeah. Oh, when's it from? When does it say on the back? 2009. Yeah, 2009. Twisted Pixel. Though I think the game's Take early. care of your maw. He will be your best friend as long as you take care of him. Remember, he has something of an appetite, so to be sure to keep him in check. Mm-hmm. Okay. Oh, no, no, no. He ate a cow. He did. Don't have a cow, man. He already did. He didn't keep the appetite in check. Whoa, these cows are cool. I've never felt this cow before. I've never That's the quote of the year. I've never felt this cow before. <laughs> How's your cow feeling? Anyway, the moss can hang out. Sure. Maybe he'll come to our Christmas episode, too. I don't know if you can see that. Yes. You can't. He'll sit on my head and just stare into your eyes. He stares deep into your soul. He wants to eat you. There's no way you're going to balance that. Zero chance. <gasps> Yar. Captain Mawbeard. <laughs> he needs to be bigger before he can eat Chris. Let's get back to some news. Terminal reality of shutdown. No, no. Chris, 
Why are we sad about this terminal reality closure? Because they made some... Uh, didn't they make Blood Rain? Yep. Yeah, they made the Blood Rain that series, Uwe which Bowl people movie? liked. No. No. <laughs> but yeah, they Other made... than that, I don't know. What was there? Was the Walking Dead survival instinct. Oh, that game was amazing. Yeah, that's a real classic. So goodbye, terminal reality. All joking aside, yeah. Sucks that people lose their jobs, but... I, they made that Ghostbusters game. Uh, the Xbox Live one? Yeah. Sorry, yeah. Sounds like just a lot of licensed stuff. Yep. But they made Blood Rain and people liked it. So they have a little bit of a legacy. We'll yeah. miss them. I'm sure. Oh, maybe you won't, Jesse. Heartless. People getting fired around Christmas. Jesse doesn't even care. Yeah, I'm the Grinch. I'm the Grinch and Scrooge combined. I'm... You don't have any money. Scrinch. Yeah. But he takes more after I'm Grinch. a I'm a crotchety old man. I, now it's rotated the wrong way. I'm stop. back. I'm back. I'm good. Just this is where the maw hangs out. While the terminal terminal reality are losing money, Oculus Rift has gotten some. Yes. The seventy five million dollar investment from huge Jesse. Uh, from the Netscape founders. Netscape. Remember Netscape? No. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> good old Netscape. Yeah. Um, Anyway, $75 million. That's pretty good. That's a lot of money. No, this seems like a solid investment. There's a lot of hype behind the Oculus Rift. There is tons of hype. Tons. They even have John Carmack full-time now. Whoa! Yeah. Mr. Doom. My stomach just growled. Sorry. Oh, thanks for the heads up. I had one piece of bacon to eat today. <laughs> That's a lot of food. Yes. And part of my advent calendar. You have a bacon advent calendar? What's the shelf life going to be on that? Because it's going to go bad quick. It's bacon. Just keep it refrigerated. Pig parts. That doesn't make any sense. I don't know how to cook bacon. Oh, I do know how to cook bacon. That's a lie. <laughs> Just not very well. No. You know what you do know about, Jesse? Soul Calibur free-to-play games. What's up? Uh, well, Lost Swords, which was supposed to come out uh, this winter. Mm-hmm. Free-to-play fighting game? Yeah. Like the Tekken one. Exactly. Is now due out for 2014. Which is like three weeks, I now realize. Yeah. But, you know. We're winding too to close. Out. Yeah. Come on, Soul Calibur. <laughs> Get your stuff together. Now, <laughs> the big debate with Soul Calibur. Is it one word or two? It's, two it's appeared both ways. Jesse, you're going two? Chris, what do you think? This looks like two to me. Two? Jeremy, what is your view? It was it was originally one. I mean, you gotta you gotta consider the one. I don't know. I've never played Soul Calibur. But yet. I'm gonna have to go with two as well. It's all, It's two. It's two. That's what the moss is. And he says it's one because look, he's only got one eye. What does Vault Boy say? Vault Boy actually says that there is some Fallout Four news. There is. Yeah. We should have a. We should make a game, a fighting game that he's where in the it. mock and fight Ball Boy. Yeah. No. Chris, what is he the... Wants to hug. No. Okay. <laughs> Chris, what is the Fallout 4 news? Um, Fallout 4 has been t confirmed. Tell it to Fallout Boy. <laughs> you gotta say Fallout it. Boy is... No, not Fallout Boy. Uh, <laughs> oh, look who made the <laughs> same mistake as me. Fallout 4 has been confirmed. Oh, okay. No, we, we already knew that. Mm -hmm. But it's been confirmed to take place By in... By leaks. Uh, yeah. All sorts of leaks. And it's being confirmed to take place in Boston. Boston. Massachusetts. Sweet. Jesse, place. what can we look forward to seeing in Boston in Fallout 4? Uh, hopefully Fenway Park. Fenway if Fenway Park, Park appears, cool. I'm buying that game. MIT's going to be in it. Yep. It's, 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 okay. Uh, they could have the Curious George store. Uh, the TD Garden will be there. Uh, wherever the Celtics play. I think that's also a TD Garden. Yeah, wherever the Celtics play is going to be in it. <laughs> that's my favorite spot in Boston. And I'm sure there's other more historic places in Boston. Yeah, the, that are not sports the arenas. Tea store, where they had the tea party. That's a joke. It's a hilarious. Nowhere joke. is more famous than Fenway Park, sir. Nowhere. <laughs> you don't touch the mall. The mall touches you. <laughs> yeah, I was about to say that, and then I was like, eh, maybe that's a little weird. He wants to lick you. I'm. He's not going to lick me. Okay. Okay. From all of us at the Dietrich Gamecast, 
We'd like to thank you for a great season three. Yeah, dude, it was a blast. We're gonna see you next week for our Christmas special. You get to you get a holiday special. You get an insight into our oh sorry. Political correctness cop here. Wait, but you yeah. ate bacon this morning. Yeah. But I celebrate Hanukkah. I don't care, I'm just saying. Some people might. We'll have our holiday special. You get an insight into our holiday party. We'll have our holiday tree, and we'll have holiday presents. Have, what? Presents? What? I didn't say presents. Who knows what we're going to have? Uh, it's a secret. Yeah. And then, in two weeks, we will have our biggest podcast of the year, Game of the Year 2013. Yeah, Goaty. Which will feature not only our expert opinions, but the expert opinions of guests. Expert. And Jorge's opinion, whatever it is. <laughs> so stay tuned. Yep. And then it'll be the new year, season four of the Dietrich Gamecast. That's amazing. It's it's been a blast being on it this entire year. Mm-hmm. You know, I don't get to I don't get to be sincere a lot on this podcast. I mean, you could if you wanted. I uh, yeah, but that's yeah. yeah, I could, but I'm not. But yeah, it's it's truly been a yeah a great year. And, and if there's any big news, we'll probably talk about it. But the small news will have to wait until January. Dun, 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 dun. January 2014. Alright, guys. We need to go out. With a bang. No, no, no. Oh. <laughs> Just we need to go out. <laughs> Jazz hands. I'm the best. I'm not. <laughs> it's not going too well. Do you want some help? I'll do the Ma's Jazz hands. He has no hands. Ah! Ah. <laughs> Jeez. Disturbing. I'm a 5-2 player.